Are police stations good in a zombie apocalypse? The decision to set up camp in a police station during a zombie invasion is not just about the possible weapons and supplies that we can find there. Oh no, my friend. It's a mixed bag of pros and cons that could either make you the ultimate survivor or a quick snack for the walking dead. Being the first to stake your claim feels like winning the jackpot in a grim lottery. There's a peculiar thrill in selecting your survival suite amidst the ominous silence, an eerie feeling of ownership that comes with choosing the prime spot. But first, let's see the advantages this place has to offer. Police stations are designed to withstand external threats, making them potentially advantageous shelters for protecting survivors in the event of a zombie apocalypse. These structures are often fortified with sturdy walls, reinforced doors and ample space that can be utilized to create effective barricades. When properly fortified, a police station can transform into a formidable fortress capable of resisting and deterring the undead hordes. Moreover, the station's existing surveillance systems and strategically positioned vantage points offer a significant advantage. Surveillance cameras and observation towers could provide early detection of any impending danger, allowing survivors to prepare and strategize against incoming threats. This surveillance infrastructure, if operational and accessible, becomes an invaluable asset, granting a higher chance of survival by keeping track of the movements and numbers of zombies in the vicinity. Police stations serve as repositories for an array of critical equipment and supply vital for surviving a zombie apocalypse. An arsenal of firearms, ammunition, and protective gear is typically stored within these fortified structures. These armaments can be instrumental in fending off the undead and maintaining a semblance of safety and defense. Moreover, first aid kits stocked with medical supplies and life-saving medications are often available at police stations. These resources become invaluable in treating injuries sustained during encounters with zombies or dealing with other medical emergencies. Additionally, communication devices such as radios, walkie-talkies, or even more advanced police communication systems can be found within these stations. In a world disrupted by a zombie outbreak, these communication tools offer a means to coordinate efforts, call for help, or establish contact with other survivor groups. Police stations are known for their organized systems, making them an efficient location to establish order within a group of survivors. If you are lucky, the presence of trained law enforcement personnel can provide crucial leadership and decision-making during chaotic times. One peculiar advantage of a police station in a zombie apocalypse is the presence of holding cells. Although designed to detain criminals, these cells can be repurposed to secure the infected or dangerous individuals within the group. This segregation allows the survivors to mitigate internal risks while ensuring the safety of the majority, bolstering overall security, and minimizing potential threats. Even so, not everything is as nice as it seems. Certain disadvantages will make you seriously think about whether a police station is a good place to survive. However, the very attributes that make it a stronghold can also mark it as a beacon in a city overrun by zombies. Situated at the heart of urban areas, police stations are inherently positioned in zones where the population density was once high. Consequently, these locations become hotspots for zombie activity. Bloodstains from previous encounters, blaring alarms triggered during chaos, and remnants of past battles serve as macabre invitations to wandering hordes, leading them to converge upon these fortified structures. The constant threat of attracting zombies necessitates a continuous cycle of vigilance and fortification. Survivors occupying these stations must maintain a rigorous defense protocol, reinforcing barriers, and fortifying entry points to prevent breaches. Any lapse in vigilance could invite disaster, turning the stronghold into a death trap. Moreover, the scent of food, human presence, and activities within the station can unwittingly allure zombies, heightening the need for strict adherence to safety measures. Rationing food consumption and minimizing activities that emit noise or strong scents become imperative to avoid drawing the attention of the ravenous undead. In such circumstances, survivors must not only fend off immediate threats, but also be prepared for potential surges in zombie numbers attracted to the station's central location. The constant need for heightened security measures, the risk of an overwhelming influx of zombies, and the psychological toll of being constantly besieged can strain the resilience of even the most fortified police station. Despite the initial stockpile of equipment and supplies, a police station's resources are finite. Food, water, medicine, and ammunition will deplete over time, necessitating regular foraging or scavenging expeditions outside the station. This introduces an element of risk as venturing into the zombie-infested world increases the chances of encountering both undead creatures and hostile survivors. But as you might know, the zombie zombie apocalypse is not just about zombies. As we have learned sometimes, other humans can be more dangerous than the undead. The reality is that you will not be the first one with the idea of going to a police station, or at least you will not be the first one to be there. It becomes a beacon not only for survivors, but also for opportunistic and less scrupulous individuals. In a world where law and order have collapsed, the allure of weapons, supplies, and a perceived haven can draw in factions willing to do whatever it takes to seize control or claim resources. This influx of diverse groups seeking refuge can create tension, rivalries, and conflict 
conflicts within the station's confines. Trust becomes a scarce commodity as survivors grapple with the challenge of discerning friend from foe amidst the chaos of a world overrun by the undead. A police station's reliance on external resources can hinder long-term survival. With sustainable food sources and the means to produce necessary supplies, survivors may be able to maintain their existence within the station. Relying solely on scavenging exposes the group to constant danger, establishing a risky cycle that may require adaptation or relocation in the long run. As we wrap up this analysis, it is evident that while a police station offers numerous advantages in a zombie apocalypse scenario, it also presents significant challenges. Security, supplies, organization, and holding cells provide a strong foundation for survival. However, the drawbacks of attracting zombies, limited resources, vulnerability, and lack of sustainability demand constant vigilance, adaptability, and careful planning. Remember, no sanctuary is perfect in such dire times, but by utilizing a police station's advantages while mitigating its drawbacks, survivors can increase their chances of enduring the apocalypse, at least for a short period. But honestly, what do you think? Are police stations the best place to survive the zombie apocalypse, or is it just a place to go for supplies? I will read you in the comments!